Okay, tenth attempt. Tenth att tenth attempt to vlog, drive, and record. Okay, here we go. Okay, I dropped my kids off from school today. Um, was like, hey, you know, I've seen Rachel Electric talk about some of the, and Miss Lily Lynn talk about the Melania line. It's a CVS pharmacy. Um, I don't have a CVS close to me. Um, I have a Rite Aid that's right two minutes down the road. There's a Rite Aid ten minutes down the road. There's a Rite Aid another two minutes another way. We have a lot of uh, Rite Aids, but no Walgreens. The, the closest Walgreens is like 45 minutes away. Um, the CVS this way was 25, 30 minutes. So I was like, you know what? Uh, I'm going to go to walk to CVS because I want the Melania Fruit Punch Lipstick. I have it on right now. I did purchase it. Uh, CVS, my little CVS card, everything. It has everything basically right. It does, except it has a lot of the Essence brushes, which I like for a cheaper brand of a brush. The Essence brushes, brushes are really cool. So, um, yeah, that's what I picked up from CVS. I picked up something really cool. I picked up my first Melania lipstick. Um, I'm going to find it in my little bag because I'm a very cautious driver. Okay? Well, you know what? I'm going to show you another item I bought. My first item I bought was from Essence, and it's a little beauty blender. Look. Oh, I am driving, vlogging, and doing a haul all at the same time. Why driving a vehicle? But well, that's called talent, people, on a mountain road. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is a little beauty blender I bought, and I thought this would be good for, um, like, concealer, getting under your eyes, and your little crevices of the nose, uh, or just anything. But anyway, this is $4.99. Um, I think it's worth it. Yeah, I do. I uh, think it's worth that. So, yeah. If these are CVS. They say new. I don't know if it's like, because I've never been, really been to a CVS. So, it might not be something new to you all. But it's new to me, and I'm really excited to try this out. Okay. Um, another thing. I have to say this about the Melania brand. Okay. I like the brand. I think that the lipstick. I, pick, I picked up the Fruit Punch today. I have it on. As soon as I got out in the car, I put it on. I really enjoy this. This is Fruit Punch. It's got a beautiful smell to it. I really, really like this product. Love the packaging. Love the whole nine yards of it. Something I don't like is the price. The lipstick price isn't bad. Five ninety nine is a good price for uh, this product. It's a good product. I, I love this. This is good. Um, I'm gonna try. Am I gonna try more Melania lipsticks? Yes, definitely. I like this. This is good. Okay. Got a fruit punch. Probably all of y'all know. Another thing I think is a little pricey is the blushes. Okay, I'm gonna try to get it where you can see. This is like a peach. Um, oh Lord, I'm trying to drive. I'm sorry, guys. It's like a. a um, I'll tell you the exact color. It's a Lanumus. It's a baked powder blush. It's called Lim Luminoso. It's like a peach orangey color. Can you see it better now? Okay. Anyway, it's like a peach orangey color. Okay, I'm driving like crazy when I get pulled over. They're gonna think I'm drunk or something. And I've never done that. Okay. Uh, anyway, anyway, it's like a peachy, uh, it's like a, um, uh, uh, I just ran off the road. Anyway, it's a baked blush. It's a mineral blush. It's by Melania. Uh, I haven't even opened it yet. The pricing is ridiculous. I think it was $7.99, $8.99. It's either $7.99 or $8.99 because I picked up a little brow kit. But, um, yeah, I, I, have, I have literally bright pink blushes, um, so I wanted to try this one out. So I'm gonna try this one out to see what the hype is about the Melania brushes. I think the pricing is a little pricey for this. Cause basically I can get the hard candy one for like five dollars, isn't it? And it's very similar. I don't know the product, the way the product goes on or how long it lasts or how it proceeds. So I'm gonna see that. But right now I, it's a little pricey. I went up to the thing and I bought a lipstick, this pretty little blush. Um, my thing is hitting it. Okay, I bought the lipstick, a blush, um, a lipstick, a blush, that little beauty blender, and a brow kit was 30 bucks. Yeah, $30. I could have had the Naked Basics palette for all that, that I paid for this little stuff. But anyway, I'm glad I did it. Um, yeah. But anyway, this is the blush. If you've used the blush, please comment below and let me know what you think. I probably won't get to use it till in the morning, so, yeah. Another thing I picked up by Melania, now this is like one of... My very hyped items is this little brow fix kit they have. It looks really cool. It looks, um, it's got a highlight, a brow one, and a brow two. 
So it's like in the row of how I guess you're supposed to use it. And it's got a little tweezer and two little brushes um, on the side here. I don't know if you can see it. Anyway, that's what it looks like. The colors are pretty. They're not too um, too dark. And they can fit like when my hair is like a blondish reddish color. I think this would be perfect with it. I like the little highlighter. Yeah, this was $8.99. And um, I think this is worth the $8.99. I don't think the blush is worth the $7.99. I just don't think so. Unless when I try the product on, I'm like amazed by the output. But right now, I think the Melania is just a little, little too pricey for drugstore. L'Oreal, I, I think L'Oreal and Revlon have the right to be a little pricey because, I don't know, Melania might be better than them. I'm about to find out. I was going to pick up a baked powder brush, a blush, blush, powder, like pressed powder, and something was like, I want to look it up on YouTube and see how some of you all take on that. So let me know if you've used like the product, the powder, and the bronzer stuff from Milani and let me know. But yeah, this little brow kit I picked up, and um, yeah, I like the little brow kit, the highlighter, the brow one, brow two, it's got the two little brushes and a tweezer. I think it's well worth it. It's a good product so far. I'm going to see how it looks. You know, the casing, everything else is great on it. So yeah, that's what I picked up. Um, like I said, I do like the um the stuff it's nice milani i like cvs it's like i've been to cvs many times but never like to really shop because i was like oh, i gotta write it what's the big difference my favorite item that i picked up from the cvs and they had a lot of the modern family opi um fingernail polish polishes i have a lot of fingernail polishes so i wasn't too interested in that uh I, like i said I come for the melania stuff i come for the fergie um eyeshadows and stuff and they didn't have it they had that mega last crappy lip gloss stuff that Rite Aid has that absolutely sucks I'm sorry Fergie but you done something wet and wild that sucks and it's the mega lash lip glosses they suck okay they suck okay so another thing is um I really like my little beauty blender I think it's gonna be really cute it's gonna be good for contouring not contouring for under eye concealers and, and my freckles, of course I'm Irish too, so I got to play get the freckle, the freckles, the freckles. So yeah, my face looks a little bit shiny. I think it's because I've been running around. It's rainy and dreary out in West Virginia today on the East Coast. Um, so yeah, but my favorite purchase would have to be as of right now. I've only used the lipstick, and I really like this fruit punch lipstick. The Milani lipstick seems to be pretty good. I can't wait to try my little baby beauty blender. If you have a CVS, I suggest just picking that little baby beauty blender up. Um, just for like your under eyes, your concealer, um, just dotting on, you know, just different stuff. It's, it's good to always have a little extra tricklet, tricklet, tricklet thing. So that's really cool. Um, so yeah, another thing that I really, 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 really liked was the little brow kit. I cannot wait to get down and dirty with my brows. Oh. <laughs> I'm crazy today. I'm driving and it's, listen, it is raining. Okay, West Virginia uh, mountains are so high. It's raining here. It's snowing on the mountaintops. For real. For real, for real, for real. Let me see if I can get a little sneak peek. See? Do you see the snow? Do you see the snow? Do you see the snow? <laughs> and that's Logan County, baby, right there. Logan County, West Virginia. There's a regional jail sign. There's the mountains. And look at these mountains as you drive. Look at the West Virginia. This is our four lanes in West Virginia. There's hardly no fat, flat lands. I'm driving home and there's mountains surrounding me. Yes. Always mountains surrounding me. Uh, right down here at the bottom of the hill is like a, a, um, a strip job um, deep mountain thing going on. Hopefully I make it in time before my battery runs dead. I would really like to show you um, like this is a belt that brings the coal out of the ground to get the coal cleaned. So, um, yeah, I would like to show you what's beside our four lanes as we drive in West Virginia. West Virginia is just an awesome state. I love everything about West Virginia. I love it. So, I'm about to come across to it. I'm going to show you what the coal mine and stuff looks like. This is the belt that brings the coal out of the ground. These men are working very hard for this. So, here we start. This is what it looks like. This is just a part of it. We're coming right here. See all the coal? Do you see all the coal stacked right there? It's coming out of the ground. Yeah. So that's what our, uh, the deep mine, that's the little project that brings the coal up to get it taken care of. Okay, so I'll see you later, guys. Y'all have a really good day. Bye-bye.